Hello guys, it's Antonia Dean from Heimdall and I am happy to announce you that today we are starting a new series of exciting videos related to a topic that is really hot right now – endpoint security. Challenges, types of endpoint security, best practices, how to choose the best solution for your company are among the titles that can be found on our channel in the following weeks. Let us start by talking about the key challenges of endpoint security. Overall visibility. Organization's main endpoint security issue is the lack of visibility into risk. Every endpoint serves as a new attack vector, particularly when accessing the network remotely. Businesses need to be aware of every endpoint's location in order to reduce risks, which calls for complete visibility into every device connecting to the company's network. Without visibility into and control over all endpoints, organizational cyber risk increases. Data loss. Organizations have no control over how their staff interacts with their cloud resources when they use their personal devices. For instance, an employee might use their device to download confidential documents from a cloud application. Without advanced endpoint security, organizations will have no idea what happened to the data. There are significant risks involved when organizations are unable to control the flow of sensitive information. Let's think of an example where spyware is installed on an um, employee's device. The document could be intercepted, resulting in a data breach. On the other hand, if the company doesn't closely monitor how the document is shared, the employee might unintentionally leak the data or use it inappropriately. Remote workers. Despite the security risk, we all know that remote work is here to stay. The reason why so many companies allow remote working is simple. Employees like it and it can save companies a lot of money. Nevertheless, from an endpoint security standpoint, it comes with several risks. Employees may work from home or another location, but either way, their devices are most likely connected to personal or public wireless networks that lack the same level of security measures as the corporate networks. In this case, malicious actors only need to launch a man-in-the-middle attack to collect information and credentials. Mobile devices bring your own device policies. Mobile devices offer flexibility and comfort, but those very qualities also make them more challenging to secure and monitor. Addressing crucial challenges in endpoint security arising from mobile devices requires adopting mobile security as a vital part and occasionally next-generation endpoint security. Third-party applications. Unfortunately, third-party applications are a massive attack vector. Application control is necessary for your company in order to secure the apps and stop them from acting in a way that is detrimental to your interests. Keep in mind that even if a company has control over the applications that its employees install on their own devices, those apps may still pose risks the organization cannot mitigate. A security patch update might be needed for for instance, to address a newly discovered application vulnerability. If the organization is unable to monitor and control the device, it is impossible to check if the user actually installed the update. Thank you for watching, I hope I showed you how important it is to make endpoint security, which stops malicious actors from abusing devices and other network gateways, a top priority. And hey! What other endpoint security related topics uh, are you interested in? Because it might be our next topic. So make sure you don't miss it and click the subscribe button to get notified. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and share it.